We're a great city outside of Atlanta. I think the best cities in the South. It's also what we like to consider a city of innovation. We're real active in trying to find new ways to do things better, quicker, uh, more efficiently. Being a metro city, uh, we do have a lot of traffic, so we're trying to get information out to the public in ways that benefits them as they're traveling, allows them to avoid problems, allows them to know that there is a situation ahead that they need to deal with. When people know how to respond to an emergency vehicle coming upon them, it helps everybody. It helps traffic control, it helps response team get where they need to go. Safety is paramount in everything we do. So we're always looking for whatever edge you might add to safety. Uh, we're interested and we're gonna pursue it. We're gonna figure it out. So we were real lucky to be able to actually come up jointly with this company that we've been working with, which is Applied Information, come up with this technology that allows us to have preemption in a different way than anybody else in the country was able to do. With the technology, we're able to clear the intersections out and we got green lights with nobody in the intersection all the way to our call. When we can flush the traffic out of an intersection, we don't have to worry about what someone's gonna do when the big red fire truck comes behind them. If somebody's having a heart attack and you can get there a minute to two quicker, we're saving lives. We were using preemption ourselves and then we were also figuring out ways to get it out to the public. So we have an app that actually the public can use and they can track our fire trucks and see where the things are. They can also use that to figure out what's happening with lights so they can know if the right turn signal is going to go green. But then we were looking to try to figure out what's the next phase. What else can we do to make it even safer for the public? partnering with Applied Information and Haas to get that information back into their hands. The way the messaging is sent is clear, concise, it's timely, and I think those things the citizens will benefit from. The more we can get the word out there that our fire trucks are on the road, the better off we're going to be. Watch out, crash reported ahead. Whether it's a, an accident or emergency response going on, or a traffic signal failure, whatever the case may be, I can take an adjoining road and work my way around it and not be slowed down, or at least not slowed down as much. We're in Waze, we're in Apple Maps. At this time, Waze has about 33 million individuals. It's obviously really important for us to be able to get into the apps that individuals are using, and the next step is to get into the actual vehicles themselves. Now in Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram, and we've got many other vehicles coming in the future, We've tested and we can show that it actually works in all those vehicles as you drive around the city of Marriott. My name is Rob Duckworth with Haas Alert. So we're here demonstrating the live alerts from Haas Alert where the drivers will see an encapsulation of their radio screen or their infotainment screen that comes up as emergency vehicle head or emergency vehicle approaching. And this alert brings an auditory notice and also comes up and takes over the audio screen in order to be able to show them that there is an emergency vehicle approaching in the city of Marietta. We're going to be bringing enhanced safety to our school zone areas where we're going to be alerting drivers that they're getting ready to enter a school zone in order to protect our children and continue to improve the safety here in Marietta. It's improved safety, it's improved response time. I mean, it's just a win-win all the way around. And we're excited about that technology and how it's going forward. And so now we've got our signals for our school zones. Watch out, hazard reported ahead. We've got work zone boards, so that if we're working on a road and it's gonna be a delay, people can see that and they know to anticipate a traffic issue as they're coming up on it. Being able to get together with Waze and being able to get together with other car manufacturers and other groups and to be able to actually have that information show up on their screens inside their car is amazing. We're extremely happy that we are finally at that point where the traveling public will be able to get it on the devices that they use every day.